Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Nox. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw, here with our character, Mark the Great Bear Master. By the way, these things here will mess up your bears like nobody's business. But they are extremely susceptible to a simple burn spell. So they're really not that bad when you think of that. Ah, stupid spiders, go away. And you too, Wasp. Go away. I want to talk about more interesting enemies, like the plants. There we go. For that first one you break here, you get yourself a cloak of anti-poison. Could definitely come in handy. But it's important you don't let your bears fight these, because they will die. You stick a burn spell on them, though, and they're quite easy to kill. Just hang back, and the bear should not do anything incredibly stupid. This area for the Conjurer is a little tricky, because the, with all the trash enemies and the plants and such mixed in with actual threatening enemies, it can be tricky at times to get your bear to attack the correct thing, thus making it either die very quickly, or just not actually helping the fight at all. And either option is... Ow. Undesirable. And then you got these things here to sneak up on you and mess you up pretty good. And yes, I just took a potion because of that. Kinda needed to. Let's see if we can very, very carefully get out of here. I would recommend you just pop these manually. Just for safety. Like, so. And there's also a secret wall right here. And I guess the bears are gonna go... Get deeply confused trying to eat a mushroom. Okay, bear, 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 calm down. Just wait the poison out, it's almost done. Now we can go in safely. Was that so hard, bear? Back here you find a little hidden hovel thing with a ghost in it, which is what the bear was trying to fight before. Not sure why the ghost needed to fight a ghost so badly, but it did apparently. And you get the potion we used and a little bit of gold. Nothing special, but it is a secret, so there you go. It's a secret I know about, at the very least. Keep it on this one. Your poison, not quite so useful here. The poison cloud, because a lot of these enemies, well, they just can't be poisoned, sadly. And you're, you're definitely going to want burn spells and meteors here, because all these Zoran. things have to be burned Zoran. to make them stop coming back. Zoran. Like, uh, most of the Zoran. enemies here have to be burned. They do have a new kind of zombie here. By the way, bow, if you need one. And if you do, I imagine you're using an upgraded bow by now, and you would not want a standard bow, but whatever. They have upgraded zombies here, as I was going to say, that actually, um give experience, even though the basic zombies no longer do and have not for a while now. So make sure you burn all the zombies in case you get some upgraders in there. Now this enemy is immune to poison, even though I'm not even sure what the hell it's supposed to be. I know they tell you in the game somewhere, but whatever. Just wanted to demonstrate you can't poison that really fast-looking black owl, black fog thing. And they hit pretty hard, so don't get into a melee fight with them. Try and get the bears to do it. It's best if your bears fight those guys for you. Same with the zombies. Let the bears fight the zombies. You just pick up the pieces, cook them when they're done. The bears can take the hits a lot better than you can. But we'll go that way later. First, let's go this way. Now, this enemy here, this is an enemy, but... Since it doesn't actually attack you first, it'll always wait till you hit it to hit you. The bears more or less leave it alone. But, here we go. Go get it, bears. And down here we got the Leech Pit. Everybody loves the Leech Pit. That is a Will-O-Wisp. They, uh, they never attack first. I guess that's part of the lore of Will-O-Wisp that, you know, they like to lure people into danger. They don't just outright attack you. Hence that one tried to lure me into this pile. They always run away. They have a pretty powerful attack when they do fight back. They have a pretty intense lightning effect. But only when they do attack, which a lot of times they just choose not to. And back here we got some Black Widows, more Leeches. Nothing too scary in this tunnel here. Mostly just annoying enemies, really. But, if you fight your way all the way to the end, you get a mighty conjurer helm of the stars, a quiver of dazing, and a second quiver of dazing. And that's pretty good. 
So I do think it's worth the time to come down here. The helm, if I recall, I believe it, uh... Yeah, it gives you more light around your character. 134, regeneration and poison protection. 130, light. Uh, I'll demonstrate that, it, as you can see here, when I turn, take it on and off. Let me get a better angle. Here we go. It does actually get brighter. But I don't actually think that is worth what I'd have to give up to do it. So I won't be using that. Still, if you really want a brighter tunnel, if it's too spooky for you or something, then by all means, you can put it on and have your nice, pleasant light Don't sources. No, bears, stay back. Let them burn. Good job, bears. And look, zombos. Like I said, just let the bears do their job. Ah, stupid plant. I missed one. Don't Ah, uh, eh, stupid poison thing. This is what I have poison potion for, though. Dealing with stuff like this. Done. You really want to walk very carefully around here so you don't Done. get torn apart by all the poison crap. And zombies have a habit of walking through them sometimes because they're immune to poison, so I guess they just don't care. And it makes sense, so I wouldn't care either in their situation. There we go. Cook that one up real quick. Get my new bear. Now that the plants are dead, the bear should be fine. Get him, bear. Good job. Alright, that all of them? Or am I still missing some? Okay, that's not all of them. You can kind of tell which one of the upgraded zombies because they look a little bit different. And they give experience. Stupid bears. Don't stand in the poison and fight. Sadly, if enemies are stupid enough to do it, your pets will also do it, because they use the same AI, except they just turn a flag on that says, not gonna try and kill the player. More or less. Another one down. These things, I'm just using one of these to pull it over here so it'll fight the bears, in theory. Come on, fight the bears. There we go. Use them as a shield, and this weapon's long enough to just barely hit right through the bear if you want to go that route. But it's tricky to set that up just right. Oh. oh, I have a new pet to show off, don't I? I'll have to get on that soon, won't I? Done. Yes. Now this one in particular, I like to try and squeeze back here. I think it's easy to kill it in this back area. Even though this is where it's leading me, so you know it's probably a trap. Because Willow is leading the trap, that's kind of their whole thing. And now it doesn't like that trap, so it's going the other way. One important thing to note, once you start fighting a Will-O-Wisp, you can't stop fighting. you got to finish it immediately. No matter what's on your ass, you need to kill it before it gets away, because if it gets enough distance on you and starts electrocuting you, you're probably going to die. And it is a pain in the ass to do. Here we get a little fireball staff if I want to hurl fireball at people. And some cure poison for my bear. But yeah, next time they die, I'll go ahead and show you guys the new pet we have. I was bumped right into that like an idiot, but I didn't, thankfully. Do I, I've got plenty... Damn it. Alright, burn the plant before my bears get here. I fell down the stupid crack in the floor. Here's the bears. Bears, help. Do your job. What do I pay you for? Kill that thing. Oh. There we go. Alright, so I filled out a crack in the floor, it happens, uh, and you're down in this room here now. It's no big deal, you can get out right here though. Just try and avoid the cracks in the floor if you... Oh. Hmm. Good job, bears. Wait, what? I missed? That sucked. What is that? Oh, hey! Mighty Staff of Force, I don't recall finding that there before. Yeah, there's a few spots in the ground you can fall through here. Try not to, for your own sake. The hell did they kill? It had a mighty staff of force on it. But I know my bears are pretty tough, but what did they kill? I... Well, not important. I took care of the zombie. Let's move on. You always want to break the wasp nests because sometimes they have goodies in them. And goodies are nice. Oh, there we go. See what I mean? See how it nailed both bears simultaneously? Yeah, they've got a pretty good uh, poison attack. 
And there's a few of them over here. And you really don't want to fight it unless you can get it cornered. He looks good. Oh, got away. That's bad. Alright, we got it, we got it. Damn it, Bear, stop being an idiot. You can't beat that thing. Oh, hey. They, they beat it. Alright, I'm impressed. Good job, Bear. Normally they lose to the plant. Maybe they're probably going to die when they try and get out of the uh, spikes, but so be it. I went down another hole again. And he ate the mushroom that it was supposed to give me for curing poison. It confused him and he ran straight back into the spikes and died. Okay. Brilliant work there, Mr. Bear. Brilliant work, truly. Credit to your species and all that. Oh, there's the other bear. He's got a few good hits left in him. If you want to go back this way and explore elsewhere, feel free. But, you know, go this way first. Just because once you can't, you can't get a bear past those three cracks in the ground. The bear is done. So, use him for whatever you can to conserve mana before you turn around and have to ditch him. Here you get some gold and some alcohol, because I guess if I lived in a swamp this shitty, I would also be a heavy drinker. I probably would. What else can you really do in a place like this besides drink a lot, really? Hmm. Let's not see what it feels like in the boondocks of the deep south. Hmm. Well, fair enough. Oh, that one had a cloak in it. See what I mean? Yep, so the bear's dead, because I can't get it through there. It's just going to continually run back and forth until I get to a new map, and I'm not waiting that long. So we got a new scroll in the last video that I haven't shown you yet. Here it is, the Stone Golem. I'm a bear guy, but the Stone Golem is quite good. It's very, very mana expensive, as you can see here, but it gets the job done. It does what it sets out to do. It, it does take up the entire slot, so you don't get two pets, you only get one, which is why I'm a bear guy, but, I mean, he is a very powerful one pet. And I don't believe he's poisoned. Yeah, he can't be poisoned either, which makes him... No, that's something to consider for this area. He will not get poisoned by enemies. Something my bear do not have such a luxury for. Go. Go kill that thing. Yeah, when it, when it hits, things run away. It's pu well, not always, but I, in general, uh, it's tough enough that it pushes them back. It can also break those on accident, so you gotta be careful fighting near it. Oh, it's a good pet, don't get me wrong. Uh, maybe I can get below. Yep, okay, cool. Be it goes with the poison. We both know it's not gonna hurt you. They have very, very high defense. Big shock, I know. I mean, look at them. Done. They can take a lot of hits before they die. I still prefer the bears because while this has uh, about the same DPS as the bear, there's two bears which outweigh its damage in the long run. And more importantly than the, out the damage is the fact that that's two tanks. It's more things to draw fire off of me. I'm using my pets more to draw fire. Sorry, as I was saying, I'm using my pets more to draw fire than to actually DPS. I, I do most of the killing myself, unless it's literally weak things like the zombies, which I just burn once they're down. But uh, there's a pretty intense fight coming up, and I've been going for a while, and I'm completely out of mana. So, hold that thought. I was going to say, so I think I'm going to stop here, but I think I just noticed something suspicious, and I don't want to leave and forget about it next time. Why do I feel like there's a secret back here? So anyway, if it's not a secret, I'll say my goodbye now in case I'm crazy. I'm Nothgard Silverclaw, here with my character, Mark, the uh, Great Conjurer, and his friend Gollum. I'll come up with a better name eventually. So, aha! So there is a secret, so let's take care of this before we uh, move on properly. It has a lot of zombies in it, okay. That's a terrible secret. I don't like zombie secrets at all. I especially don't like it when my backup's not helping here. Those are the cheapo zombies. They don't give anything. Here we get a quiver of fire. Good for the area. And a pretty good cloak, actually. Alright. I might actually put that one on. 
You know what? I don't even care to finish these guys off. They're not worth the time because... Well, they're basic zombies. They're not going to be... There's no experience for killing them, so I'm not going to waste my time on them. I'll just leave. So as I was saying before, we'll stop here. I'm Nosgard. He's my golem. And have a good one, everybody. Yes, I'm checking this before I leave, too, because I have to know. 32 versus... 32. I'll take point in protection in this area. Alright, for the final time, have a good one.